Ginger Z is leading our extreme weather team. Uh, she's got coverage of this storm up and down the coast, including Philadelphia. So let's get outside to snowy Times Square. Ginger. That's it. We've got plenty starting here. Some of the heaviest snow falling now in the next couple of hours. And then it's going to transition to sleet and eventually rain. So a real classic nor'easter. Let me show you what happened earlier in Washington, D.C. This is video from just a couple of hours ago. And it was heavy, blinding snow. You should see the Capitol in the background there. And you can hardly. They've had almost a foot already in Washington, D.C., and those heavy snow totals are now moving north. Here's what you can expect accumulation-wise on top of what you already have. Look at this graphic with me here. So again, west of D.C., some more heavy stuff, and especially west of the I-95 corridor. As we've been saying, that coastal part is what I'm concerned about mixing in. You're looking at the radar right now. It is not only snowing heavily along that line, but look at this. We're going to move south to Atlanta where it is still snowing. That's right, the back end of it, and exactly where we have our Steve Osinsami on the travel nightmares from there through the Carolinas. Steve? Good morning, Ginger. This small iceberg, a rare sight in Atlanta. And as you said, the snow flurries are still in the air this morning. This city is shut down. The few snow plows they have here are out clearing the roads. Hard to believe the pictures from North Carolina highways this morning. Drivers stuck on the ice all night. It looked just like Atlanta two weeks ago when two inches of snow and some would say poor planning led to this. Overnight, out of control car sent trucks, fire and ice holding up even rescue vehicles. Like this ambulance in Atlanta, the neighbors had to get out with their shoes and dustpans to clear a path. Go, go, go! And this fire truck in Raleigh. Whiteouts cause spinouts. These trucks here nearly colliding. Some drivers, again, just giving up and walking away from their cars. The National Guard is working 24 7 as a miserable mix of snow, ice, and rain hugs the East Coast. Hundreds of thousands of families are without power, and the snow isn't the only thing falling. Terrifying. Hearing the tree crack and watching it fall from my window and landing on my daughter's room was very traumatic. Roofs are giving way too. I was standing out here playing with my kids, and next thing I know, I seen this, the uh, roof caved in. Live wires are breaking in too from the sheer weight of the ice. My house was shaking. This storm is very unpredictable. It's one of the toughest storms we're going to see in our history, most likely. This storm has stranded passengers on I-40 in Tennessee, shut down the federal government, and it's about to put a big thorn in the middle of Valentine's Day deliveries this week. Robin? It will do that. All right, Steve, thank you. As we mentioned, a real mess also in North Carolina. Highways there turning into parking lots, and Angelica Alvarez of our station WTVD is on the road in Raleigh, North Carolina. Good morning, Angelica. How's it going there? Good morning, Robin. Well, yeah, North Carolina is not really listening to the timing of the start of the storm. Take a look at what we're seeing. A lot of our drivers found themselves caught in this storm. We're here driving along Glenwood Avenue here in Raleigh, and this is being dubbed a parking lot here. Several cars stranded on the side of the road. Drivers choosing to abandon their car to seek shelter from the many shelters that opened overnight. We are seeing several reports of accident, a handful of fatalities being reported and thousands of power outages here across the state in North Carolina. Cleanup is underway. Our Department of Transportation plowing the snow, towing cars. And you know, it's not over for us just yet. We are in for another round of sleet and snow coming at us in just a few hours. So while we get ready for that, I'll send it back to you guys, George. Okay, thank you, Angelica. We'll move up the coast now to Philadelphia. Snow picking up there right now. And this storm coming after so many in that region lost power last week. ABC's Lindsay Janice is live in Haverford Township, Pennsylvania with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. We are in Haverford, which is a suburb just to the northwest of Philadelphia, and people here just had their power restored yesterday, nine days after a massive ice storm hit this area last week. So far, no power outages reported this morning, but you can see the snow coming down thick and fast. The power company says it's ready. It's got 
5,000 workers from around the country here standing by. Those workers were called in last week when 850,000 people were left without power. Those outages, the worst in Superstorm Sandy. The power company saying it was simply caught off guard by the severity of that storm. This time, it says it's ready. Robin? Okay, Lindsay, thanks so much. Got to head a little bit north now to ABC's Gio Benitez. He's in Westfield, New Jersey, where snow is piling up on the frozen snow from the last storm. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Robin. Take a look. This is all that fluffy snow that's falling right now. About 10 inches expected in this area here. And, you know, you just said it. Take a look. This is the worst part of the storm right here. You have this uh, ice that built up here during the last storm, this heavy ice. The snow is falling right on top of it, creating more problems here. And Ginger said it. This storm later this afternoon, this snowfall is going to be turning into rain and sleep. So it's going to be slushy here.